TRS Clips, the place you arrive at if you just want the best bits of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Subscribe, hit that bell icon. In our country, we are proud of the fact that for every Bhimsen Joshi, uh, we have a Zakir Hussain. We are proud that for a Vikram Sarabhai, we have an Abdul Kalam. For a Shashi Tharoor, we have a Salman Rushdie. That is the Gagga Jamuna Tehzeeb. We have all grown up with that. But if Ganga Jamuna Tehzeeb is an indication of the genetic character of the subcontinent, then ask yourself why did it not take root in Bangladesh or Pakistan? The underlying answer will be clear. That if the ethos is plural, i.e. Hindu, that Hindu ethos ingrains a respect for pluralism. For other faiths. For other faiths. That is very important. The moment Islamization creeps in, which is what happened with our two neighbors, whether it was earlier Pakistan or whether it was Bangladesh later, the Ganga Chamana Tehzeeb was gone. Look around you at the 49 Islamic countries and there is no scope for Ganga Jamuna. So if you truly want that there should be secularism, then you need to preserve the dharmic ethos. You have to understand what that means. Which should even make us turn inwards and if there are Hindu brothers and sisters who are accusing other faiths of being below them, we need to say hold on. You need to have a sense of equality when it look when you're looking at other faiths. Equality, but at the end of the day, with every with every technology, you have a version 2.1, 2.2, you have an update, your software needs to get updated regularly. The same applies with faith. And unfortunately, there are a bunch of people who are keeping that faith at version 1.0. Mm. Why is it not possible for me to be secular and still be proud of being a Hindu? Why should I be called a Bhakt mm. for being proud of my Hindu roots? Mm. Why is it not possible for me to be someone who believes that law and order is of paramount importance, but at the end of the day, I still feel that the justice system needs reform? It's it's social media, sir. We're living in like the, the age of the internet and that's what's kind no, of No, but at times it gets tiring. Ranveer, it, yeah. it, it gets tiring because there are people like you and me who want, who do not want to be boxed in. Even as a writer, I started out writing books which became very famous in the world of history, mythology. People started saying, oh, he is a mythological writer. <laughs> in order to show that I'm not a mythological writer, I wrote two crime thrillers with James Patterson, which had no mythology in them. Mm. Then people said he's a crime writer. In order to prove them wrong, I started writing the 13 step series, which was the world of nonfiction and self help. Mm. Because I was so terrified of being boxed in. Mm. I The same applies to my own life. I don't want to be boxed in. Mm. And I do believe that at the end of the day, faith is something that should be in your living room. It should be in your heart. It should be in your puja. It should be on your prayer bed. It should not be outside.